Hi friends, welcome back. After uh, looking into some interesting operations like adding, subtracting, then integrating, differentiating the inputs. Now let us see how a logarithmic equivalent of any input can be achieved. So this circuit shows a log amplifier. How does it work? Okay, let's get into the concept. First thing, yes, virtual short because the non-inverting input connected directly to ground. So this point voltage will be zero. And because of this point being zero, this point being VI, there is potential difference which will initiate a current of I, which is VI minus zero by R. That is nothing but VI by R. And this current cannot enter into the operational amplifier and hence has to go through the diode. And if you remember the diodes uh, property under the forward bias the diode current was something like this that's a initial part of it which was almost a e to the power v so the current was proportional to e to the power v And that means the current is proportional to e to the power v or the voltage across the diode. You can just uh, reverse it was proportional to natural log of current I. So the in voltage across the diode is proportional to natural log of I and we have I here and the voltage across the diode will be 0 minus VO should be proportional to natural log of I. So this is minus VO proportional to natural log of what is I? I is VI by R. So for a given input VI, so we can say the output is proportional to natural log of VI. So this way, a logarithmic value for any given input can be computed. Then how about a anti-log? Yes, you assumed correctly the anti log operation is quite opposite of this. That means first connected diode, then feedback resistor should solve this problem. As we had seen in differentiator and integrator, just uh, changing the position the integrator becomes differentiator a differentiator becomes integrator same way i expect it can work like that so we have zero volt because of the virtual short therefore there is a voltage difference between the diode as vi minus zero and that voltage difference is going to produce a current and the current produced through this diode will be proportional to e to the power vi. The current flowing through the diode will be proportional to e to the power vi and the same current has to flow through resistor and therefore 0 minus vo by r will be the current i which is proportional to e to the power 
V I. That means this uh, V uh, V O is proportional to minus R times e to the power V I. Or in other words, we can say V O is proportional to negative e to the power V I. So e to the power V I is nothing but anti log in natural sense. So with this circuit, we can have logarithmic uh, output, and with this circuit, we can get an anti log output. So what are the applications of uh, logs? Yes, you found it correctly. Log can be very much useful whenever you want to multiply or divide. So log of uh, two values, if they add up, it is equivalent to log of the product of those two values. That means log of A into B is nothing but log of A plus log of B. Same way log of A by B will be log of A minus log of B. That means uh, if you have an adder, a subtractor, a log amplifier, anti-log amplifier, then yes, you can produce multiplier and divider also. So the concept, how to get uh, multipliers and dividers done. So that's what will be our next session. So till then, take care. See you. Bye.